Moving from on-prem to the cloud can bring a ton of nifty features for your company and applications. But one of the biggest challenges, and certainly the scariest, is how this movement can potentially expose your systems to new vulnerabilities. And without taking the right precautions, you can run into the risk of exposing your system in very problematic ways. So in this episode, I'll be covering how to control your traffic in and out of your instances on GCP by creating firewall rules once you establish hybrid connectivity to Google Cloud. Stay tuned. Firewall rules are extremely important for a number of reasons. They allow you to isolate your internal network and instances from unwanted access. They allow you to monitor inbound and outbound activity coming from your network for suspicious activity, blocking items that are considered dangerous based on a set of security rules. They establish the first line of defense against attacks, viruses, and malware, and helps create a secure network. So let's take a look at firewalls more closely. In traditional on-prem systems, multiple servers on a single internal network are supported through the use of a cluster of firewalls, coupled with a load balancer. A large drawback of this traditional architecture is that it doesn't scale well. In an on-prem environment, a firewall is generally a dedicated piece of hardware that has an upper limit in terms of capacity. And this makes a firewall a choke point. To support dynamic scaling, you'll need to habitually run down to the server room and replace the hardware with ones that can handle increased load. Of course, this creates its own challenge. When the traffic goes back to normal, you've now got a big piece of expensive hardware going unused. This is where Google Cloud Platform's distributed firewalls can make a difference. Google's global network has a federation of firewalls that can operate and scale as your systems need them. So you only end up paying for what you use rather than making commitments for long-term expectations. This gives you the same power of your on-site perimeter network, which blocks all incoming traffic by default, but allows you to scale without lifting a finger. Now, here's the important part. Each VPC network functions as a distributed firewall. If you want info on setting up the VPC, check out the first episode. A distributed firewall means that, by default, it will handle filtering traffic. But you need to adjust it to handle your access needs, like applying firewall rules to tagged instances. In this example, when a request comes in from a compute engine system, labeled the red tag, it hits the applicable firewall rule before being allowed to communicate with the blue tag. While firewall rules are defined at the network level, connections are allowed or denied on a per-instance basis. You can think of the GCP firewall rules as existing, but not only between your instances and other networks, but between individual instances within the same network. In Google Cloud, a firewall rule is made up of four things. An action, either to allow or deny traffic. That is, a rule can either allow incoming, ingress, or outgoing egress traffic, but not both simultaneously. The type of protocol to which it applies, such as TCP, UDP, and ICMP either a source or a destination for which the rule applies. This cannot be both as it depends on the direction of the firewall you create. For example, for ingress rules, you would specify the source, which can be IP ranges, tags, or service accounts, or a combination. You wouldn't specify a destination because the rule is already being applied to a specific VM's inbound traffic. You can specify the ports on ingress or egress rules. For example, allowing ingress TCP traffic on port 22 to allow for SSH access. You can also deny a VM's egress TCP traffic on all ports for all destination VMs in an IP range. Each of these parameters means that firewall rules can help control traffic to and from your Google Cloud VMs accordingly. Let's look at what this looks like. I have two existing servers here that are trying to use iPerf to test network speed. Here are my two SSH sessions with these VMs with iPerf setup. But note that I have to use a specific port for it, and since that's not part of the standard firewall rules, it doesn't work. The only default firewall rules created are allow egress and deny ingress traffic, and for Linux instances, allow SSH TCP traffic on port 22. We're going to create a new firewall rule that allows access for iPerf. Go to the VPC network tab and click firewall rules. You can see there are a bunch of default firewall rules created for the default network. We need to create one for our custom VPC that our instances are sitting in. So click Add Firewall Rule. Create a rule, iPerf Access. Change the network to VPC1. Leave it as ingress and change it to allow. The target tag will be iPerf Access. 
source IP range will be the public internet. The protocol will be TCP and port will be 5001 to run iperf. Once that saves, go back to the VM instances page and add the iperf access tag to instance one. And I'll do the same now for instance two. Let's run iperf again. And boom, it's working. Firewalls are an extremely important part of your on-prem to cloud transition. They're the basis at which traffic can flow to and from individual cloud instances, but also to and from your on-premise network to your cloud network. If you wanna learn about more complex use cases, check out the documentation linked below, but to get you moving on your migration to Google Cloud, stay tuned for the next episode on configuring IPs. And remember, optimizing your network means freeing up your bandwidth. <laughs>